It came down to the wire, but in the hotly contested Alabama Senate race, one-time underdog Doug Jones pulled out a victory. In what has been traditionally a very red state, the Democrat defeated Republican Roy Moore, who was dogged most of his campaign by allegations he be behaved inappropriately with teenage girls when he was in his 30s. Laura Podesta is in Washington with the latest on what was perhaps the most closely watched special election in U.S. history. That is the sound of Doug Jones supporters learning their candidate has pulled off the improbable, becoming the first Democrat to win a Senate seat in Alabama in more than two decades. Alabama has been at a crossroads. We have been at crossroads in the past, and unfortunately, we have usually taken the wrong fork. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you took the right road. The special election was in a statistical dead heat for much of the night as the votes were counted. When all the districts were in, Jones just barely toppled embattled Republican Roy Moore. Moore has so far refused to concede, hinting to his dejected crowd that the race is close enough to warrant a recount. That's what we've got to do is wait on God and let this process play out. Thank you for coming tonight. It's not over, and it's going to take some time. While Jones's victory is no doubt a blow to President Trump and the GOP, Republicans still maintain control of both houses of Congress. Their majority in the Senate, though, shrinks to 51-49. It wasn't that Republicans crossed over and voted for a Democrat, it was that they stayed home. There was a portion of their base that didn't like either candidate, including their own. President Trump, who threw his support behind Moore, tweeted a congratulations to Jones and added in part, the Republicans will have another shot at this seat in a very short period of time. It never ends. Jones holds the siege through 2020. Laura Podesta, CBS News, Washington. Alabama voting law dictates an automatic runoff if a race is within half a percentage point. Right now, the difference is about triple that.